Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I paint this beautiful late autumn, early winter frozen lakeside scene. This is one that I posted earlier on in the year, but I thought I'd reshare it now, and because um, I think it may make quite an interesting or attractive holiday card. It's painted on cold press watercolour paper, 100% cotton. Um, I think this is Saunders Waterford um, cold press watercolour paper. And it's going to be painted taped to my board and my board will be at an angle of about sort of 20, 30 degrees. So gravity will help with the painting. And I'll be painting it mostly using the wet in wet method to paint in the sky and the lake and to get in the basis for the trees and the foreground to start with. Then when it completely dries, I shall be able to paint in some more details using the wet on dry method. Um, this is because the wet on wet method gives me lovely softly diffused passages of paint and builds up a really nice base for my painting. And then when it's dry and I use the wet on dry method, I can bring together the details with harder, crisper edges in order to bring the painting together. I've been inspired by this lovely photograph I found on Pixabay. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description below. The colours that I used, um, I think, were cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, lavender, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, maybe some burnt umber as well. And I think that was probably just about it. Oh, and light red, I should imagine, because I think the light red is what gives the, the sky and the water that sort of reddish tint. I'm starting off um, by sketching out the scene very lightly in pencil first, simplifying the photograph because there's far too much detail in the photograph to include in the painting. So by simplifying it, I just create a very simple, loose road map. And then when I come to paint, um, I'm not bogged down with too much detail. So just very loosely suggesting the outline of the main trees um, and of course the horizon, keeping that nice and straight because that will be a nice feature um, that kind of just separates the sky and the lake.
So having finished painting the wet in wet part, I've just left it to dry. Um, and you can see that I've etched some scratching into the trees using my palette knife, which has given me a nice foundation for the tree trunks and the branches. And now using the wet on dry method, I can add a few final details and some darker tones to really bring the painting together. So just a few final details to put in now. I'm using my size 14 Skoda Perla brush to paint in a distant jetty, which I think makes a really nice focal point and leads us around the painting. I always like to use the largest brushes possible for loose painting, as this keeps my brushwork nice and loose and the Skoda um, Perla size 14 brush has a great point so you can get some lovely detail with it.
And I think that's just about done. If I remove the masking tape from the edge, it gives me a clean white border. And by seeing the painting with a clean white border, it helps me to see it with fresh eyes. I can make sure that I think it's, it's, it's finished. And I think it's okay, I like it, but I think it just needs a little bit of, you know, some slight highlighting on the tree branches. And I'm gonna do that with a white gel pen. This is a Jelly Roll white gel pen and the ink shows up nicely with just a few little hints and highlights and white branches here and there against some of the darker shapes that suggest the canopies of these trees. And I think I'm quite happy with that. So here's the finished painting. Well, I hope that was helpful and maybe you might want to try using it to make a winter holiday card. I think it could be quite festive. You could even add a little bit more snow, maybe some white gouache in the foreground and on the trees in places just to give that illusion. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please give us a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give us a thumbs down. Any interactions that you have with the video are wonderful because that helps the algorithm to push our videos out to more people. And thank you so much to everyone that supports us on Patreon. And if you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, please follow the links below. Many thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Take care and happy painting. Bye.